The pilot is just like a trio without a flash. It allows you now to have a command center that's put on the camera's hot shoe. Now you have the control that you can trigger our trio remotely or a Q-Flash T5DR in any mode. How cool is that? You can trigger it in wireless TTL mode that works on a powerful interference radio free frequency instead of that infrared system that's built into other flashes. Or you can trigger your remote camera in auto, manual mode, or my favorite auto fill mode, which I'm really excited about. The pilot lets you shoot one, two, or three flashes in any combination you wish. You can even trigger the studio flashes with the pilot if you're using the free X wire system like I do. The possibilities are endless. Simply slide the pilot onto the camera's hot shoe and turn it on. Once powered up, you will see it provides constant monitoring of up to three flashes and will allow you to shoot, for instance, with your main remote flash designated as R1 in wireless QTTL mode and then a background light designated to R2 in manual exposure mode. Then a third remote flash in auto exposure mode. The pilot lets you change the remote flashes right from its own control panel so you can flip your remote flash from QTTL to auto just with the press of a button on the pilot. That's pretty cool. So you can flip the remote flash from QTTL to auto with just the press of a button on the back of the pilot. Pretty cool, huh? And it works great too. Now don't worry, we're not going to get complicated here in this video. We're going to focus on making simple but well-lit portraits. Now to do that, I'm going to put my pilot on the camera to control my remote trio, which is off camera. Now let me show you one of my most requested lighting setups. I love this system. 